हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कीमो टेक्सोनॉमी द न्यूमेरिकल टेक्सोनॉमी एंड द इथो टेक्सोनॉमी और द बिहेवियरल टेक्सोनॉमी टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉलिक्यूलर टेक्सोनॉमी दैट इज डेफिनेशन इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ टेक्सोनॉमी इन विच मोलिक्यूलर जेनेटिक्स इज स्टडीड फॉर गेटिंग द डाटा about the evolutionary relationship among the species and the individuals that is how they are related to each other so the molecular taxonomy term is coined by lehne in 1964 the main aim of molecular taxonomy is to search the history of the ancestor of the organism and to find out the way of the evolutionary process that create diversity among the species with the help of various proteins and the genes so with the rapidly growing knowledge of genetics and molecular biology phylogeny has received a new motivation phylogeny provides a new source of evidence about the course of evolution while comparing the total genes of the two different species if the genetic differences between them are minor they are liable to be closely related in other words what we can say is the degree of genetic difference indicates the closeness of that relationship so there may be huge practical and theoretical problems as animals have so many genes moreover the presence of a particular gene does not define their effects also so the action of genes depend upon the presence or absence of many other factors like also a small change in gene can make a big difference in animals for example humans share about 99% genes with chimpanzees and it is that remaining 1% gene that make us humans so the rate of genetic change and the rate of species change are not same both that is the rate of genetic change and the rate of species change have not remained constant through the evolution that is during the evolution when there is a change in a gene its immediate product that is molecules changes slowly so the comparison of the amount of the change in that uh, gene product will reveal the familiarity of the relationship of different groups of animals so therefore molecules can be used as morphological characters to study the evolutionary history for example compare a particular gene within a range of a population like shrimps insects and spiders so this comparison must first show the that different insect populations resemble each other more closely than the spiders or the shrimps then secondly it must show which two of the three groups that is out of shrimps insect and the spiders are most closely related during the comparison molecular characters can be replaced for morphological characters to evaluate the relatedness of the animals so introduction so percentage of the dna which is similar in the species is taken into consideration in case of molecular taxonomy uh, signature sequences are also used to determine the relationship among the prokaryotes so signature sequences are basically continuous patterns of the amino acids 10 to 15 residues long that are associated with a particular structure or a function in a proteins so molecular taxonomy is based on following two steps first is the analysis of genetic data such as dna and the amino acid sequences to identify and the study a genetic homologies similarities and make the phylogenetic tree so basically phylogenetic tree is also known as phylogeny it is a diagram that depicts the line of evolutionary descent of different species organisms or genes from a common ancestor then dna and the amino acid sequence from the closely related species are more similar to each other than to the sequences from more distantly related species okay now there are various types of molecules that are used in molecular taxonomy initially molecular taxonomy studies were conducted using proteins which are the products of the gene action but currently work is concentrated much on the dna and the genes themselves so the following are the molecules that is used in molecular taxonomic studies like uh, ribosomal dna or we can say rdna so 
the genes coding for the small subunit of 18 s r dna are used in molecular taxonomic study because of some reasons like mutations are unlikely to survive the natural selection and these genes have very less mutations they have important structural role also then uh, another genes that or the molecules that are used in molecular taxonomy are the genes regulating the early development that is the genes that act early in the development guide the fate of the cells and thus may be very informative and also the mitochondrial dna or the empty dna now the molecular taxonomy based on rrna so it is based on the ubiquity of rrna in all living organism ubiquity means it is present in almost all living organisms as a part of a ribosome so the idea behind this approach is that different areas on the rrna molecule have the different mutation rate that is they are able to vary differently thus highly conserved reasons used to group bacteria into higher taxonomic order whereas more variable regions that is there are more chances of variableness in a particular region they allow the classification at the lower taxonomic level or the species or generic level so basically um, 16 sr and uh, rna is also used at this level so the rRNA molecule has been described as an ultimate molecular chronometer basically because of some properties that it possesses. Firstly, it is ubiquitous that is occurrence in all living organisms. Then it is functionally constant. Then small in size that is only 50 helical strokes are present. Then carrier regions which mutate at different rates as we have discussed earlier and easily amplified sequenced and compared with another organism. So this is a diagram of rRNA or the structural representation of rRNA. Now two organisms that differ only a few bases have diverged more recently in evolutionary time than the organisms that differ by more bases. So as we know AGTC are the nitrogenous bases that are present in the living organisms that is in RNA or DNA. So basically in case of RNA, uracil is present uh, is in place of the thiamine. For example, this is organic organism A, organism B, C and D respectively. So what is the result that is analyzed by uh, seeing this example is in terms of evolutionary history, A and B appear to be very similar. A and B appear to be very similar as they have similar bases pairing and C and D are more distantly related from these two that is they are quite similar to each other and they are quite similar so basically as we compare a and d they are very distant from each other this shows their phylogeny or evolutionary history by the use of the molecular sequences so analysis of molecular data by the computer so basically software such as blast basic local alignment search tool and fasta provide the means to align the sequences and provide the important clues for the structure and function of a given dna sequence as we have seen earlier in the example the sequences so these are analyzed by the use of softwares like blast and fasta now molecular clock so basically molecular clock it is a term for a technique that uses the mutation rate of the biomolecules to deduce the time in the prehistory when two or more life forms diverged so the biomolecular data used here in case of molecular clock is the nucleotide sequences of dna or the rna or the amino acid sequences for the protein so attempts to use the basic assumption to establish the history of the evolutionary religious over a long period of time okay assume mutations occur with roughly predictable frequency so a molecular clock is used for that purpose now the use of 16 srrna sequence homology so 16 srrna is basically used and uh, as we can say as a molecule in the molecular taxonomy so it is found in the 30s subunit of the prokaryotic ribosome it is a very good molecule to use to compare the organisms that have diverged three or four billion years ago
so the genes coding for the 16s rrna are known as 16s rrna genes and are used in reconstructing the phylogenies due to the slow rate of evolution of this region of the gene it is used as a standard for the classification and identification of microbes because it is present in most microbes and shows proper changes also now the uh, 16s rrna is evaluated by the following method like first is the polymerase chain reaction so basically originally what we can do is we would isolate large quantities of ribosomes purify the small subunit then purify the rrna then sequence this so most common method is to use is the pcr it allows the use of very small amount of the dna as a initial template okay using an appropriate primer to target the desired region of dna can replicate this dna again and again with growing amounts of the product so these are the basic steps that are used in the polymerase chain reaction that is first is denaturation that is heat that particular dna or rna up to 94 degrees celsius then hydrogen bonds between them breaks and separation of two chains took place then the primer annealing that is cool to 50 degree celsius add primer to the denatured dna then incubate to allow the primer dna base pairing again and at last polymerization that is warm to 72 degree celsius add dna polymerase enzyme that is isolated from thermophilic bacteria then each time double amount of dna is uh, again obtained in 30 cycle we get 1 million dna product so basically pcr is used for that so the aim is in the PCR cycle is amplify a precise fragment of DNA from the complex mixture of the starting material uh, as in case of bacteria they consist of approximate 10 distinct groups that is in case of gram positive bacteria one category is that is those that have high G plus uh, C content that is the uh, guanine plus cytosine content that is in case of actinomyces, uh, mycobacteria and micrococcus others and uh, those which have low G plus C content that is the bacillus, uh, mycoplasma, etc. So this is a basic diagram representing the PCR cycle. So this is a diagram representing the mechanism of the PCR. Now another concept is the DNA surveillance. So it is basically a web based program align a user submitted gene sequence of an unknown origin against a comprehensive set of reference sequences that is curated by a species specialist. So it is used in basically application it's is identification of the whales, dolphins and tortoises derived from the stranding that is fisheries that uh, are captured by catch regulated exploitation and illegal hunting so basically this is basically used for unknown origin organisms identification so yeah this is all about part one of molecular taxonomy uh, stay tuned for part two related to the topic of molecular taxonomy hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel